How would you calculate this complex expression here involving with radicals? Let's see it. Think about it. All right, let's look at the answer. For the form of a plus matter square b, there is a common trick that is complete the square. For example, in this case, 5 plus 2 square of 6, you take a square root. How to simplify this? By observing that 5 can be split into 2 plus 3, 6 is 2 times 3. Break it down to this form. Now, this is a square plus 2ab plus b square. We can complete the square. That's the trick. And then the final answer would be simply square of 2 plus square of 3. This is a very common technique. Now, in this case, can we use it? Now, the key here is 10 plus 2 squared of 5. Can we simplify that? In fact, we cannot. Now, you can try it, but this won't help. So, we have to use another method. One observation is that this quantity here is similar. The only difference is this is plus, this is minus. How do we take advantage of that? If you want to, pause the video again, try to solve the problem. Since we cannot simplify this part, but notice that uh, the part would be able to cancel if you square them. So you can let the whole quantity be x. This is a, this is b. So what we can do is square both sides. Gonna be a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now you, when you square this, you're gonna have 4 plus this quantity plus b square here is gonna be 4 minus this quantity. So these two terms would cancel. So what you end up with here, for this two term here, a square plus b square is end up to be 4 plus 4. That's good. Now, how about 2ab here? x plus y times x minus y equal x square minus y square. So that is square root. So here 4 plus and 4 minus. So it becomes 4 square, which is 16 minus the whole thing square the so square root goes away when you square it so this becomes 10 plus 2 square root of 5 so this term here let's simplify this so it becomes 16 minus 10 that will be 6 minus 2 square root of 5 now this time you can use the trick to complete the square for the, this term here under the radicals so this we're going to split that into 5 plus 1, right? 5 plus 1 minus 2 square root of 5 times 1. This term here, this whole term here, right? Under the square root is going to equal to square root of 5 minus 1 and then square. So this complete the square. This common trick for radicals in terms of a plus square root of b. The whole quantity, let's continue, is going to be 8 plus 2 times square root of 5 minus 1 and that would equal to 6 plus 2 square root of 5 square root of 5 equals this here we have plus sign use the same trick you know that this is actually nothing but square root of 5 this time is plus 1 square now x is a positive quantity x square equal this square so the final answer is that x itself would equal 2 square root of 5 plus 1. So that's the final answer. We introduced an interesting trick that is, in order to find the quantity sometimes, you can square it in order to be able to cancel certain values and then you use complete the square to simplify the square root of a plus or minus square root of b. In summary, so this quantity here we cannot calculate directly, but we would square it through some algebra tricks and cancellations. This equal this square. So the final answer is simply square root of 5 plus 1. The value for 
the expression. For this and other interesting math problems, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.